more resources available for sexual assault victims in Louisville as cases steadily rise. WDRB's Dakota Sherrick explains how awareness around the issue is leading more people to seek help. U of L Health now has about 30 staff members focused on its safe services program. SAFE, sometimes called SANE, stands for Sexual Assault Forensic Examiner. Every day I strive to be someone that I wish I had when I was going through the things that I went through. Victoria Dobson, a survivor herself, is a social worker in the program, which provides forensic exams and any medical treatment a survivor needs, as well as connection to counseling and other services. We want people to know that it is safe for you to come to us. It's safe for you to disclose um, information about what happened to you. The program saw 800 sexual assault and domestic violence patients in 2021, and the number grows each year. On the street, it's really bad. Amy Lienertz is also a survivor who now runs Free to Hope, a nonprofit that helps women who've suffered from sexual assault or human trafficking. I didn't have any justice of any kind, and it was never going to happen. So at some point I got healthy enough from it that I was able to go on and try to be somebody else's justice. Though Leenertz is seeing more women rely on her services, she does agree awareness and stigmas around sexual assault have started to change. Even with more conversations happening, some survivors hesitate to report to police. The majority of the time they won't, which is which is really sad. U of L Health data shows about 35% of patients choose not to report. A lot of them, they're afraid of retaliation. Um, they're afraid of embarrassment. They're afraid of not being believed. Of the cases LMPD received in 2022, it had a 46% closure rate. The department adds trauma comes with ups and downs, and it's not as simple as a case closure rate. Those working in this field hopeful as these conversations continue, more people will step forward. There are people that believe you, there are people that support you, and we're here to kind of walk through that process and journey with them. The same nurses did add that they can hold evidence for up to a year as a person decides whether or not they'd like to report an assault. In Louisville, Dakota Sherrick, WDRB News.